welcome back. In the last video we talked about the kidney dissection that you would have done in class. In this video we are talking about renal dialysis. I'm going to go over that word renal dialysis in a moment. But basically what renal dialysis is, is it's a treatment that you do or that you have to go through when your kidneys have failed. So we're going to compare this treatment, which you have in hospitals, to the actual function of the kidney and how they're similar and how they're different. So compare means you look at similarities and their differences as well. So I'll quickly first go over what renal, renal dialysis actually means. Renal re refers to kidney. So anything that has the word renal in it refers to the kidney itself. So remember how we had in the last video we talked about how we have a renal artery and a renal vein. So that refers to the kidney's artery and the kidney's vein. So renal dialysis, just is, that's the treatment that people go, to, go through if they have lost their kidney function or if they have kidney disease. So those two things, which are relatively common, um, some diseases make you lose your kidney. We do have two. We, have, so we always have two kidneys. So I'll just draw a bad attempt at drawing two kidneys. Um, and you're generally fine if you lose one. That's why we have two, so we have one spare one. But the problem is if we lose two of our kidneys, then we're in trouble. So what happens if we lose two of our kidneys? We have to go on one of these renal dialysis machines. And usually we have to wait until we get a kidney transplant. Um, so how is it similar? How is it different to the function of our kidney? So first we're going to talk about this fresh dialysis solution. So what is actually in this fresh dialysis solution? It's mostly, um, mostly has some water and some salts and some nutrients. I'm going to talk about why it has some nutrients in a second. This is what it has. So these are mainly the uh, ingredients that it has. It has water, salt, and usually some nutrients as well. So nutrients, I mean, by nutrients, I mean amino acids and glucose and that stuff. Um, and what it doesn't have, it has no, no urea, has no urea, and obviously it has, also has no drugs in it either. So drugs that we might have in our body that we're trying to get, get rid of. Um, so we're going, going to go for this whole mechanism because if we lose the function of our kidney, what that means is we have no way of getting rid of urea. And we have no way of balancing our water and salt content. So instead we go for this, this process, this machine here. So what happens first is we're going to get a, an injection or a needle will be stuck in. So it's going to go into our artery here. Right here. So someone the nurse will come and plug in a needle. Then we have our, our actual um, blood traveling this way. Actually, sorry, this is where you get that first injection. This is the way that blood will travel. And then as you can see, it'll travel through these coils. So it'll travel through these coils and eventually return to the body after it's been cleaned. And so it does a pretty good job of cleaning the blood itself. So I'm going to have a look at this table here and talk about some similarities and some differences. So the main similarities are that it removes urea, which if you remember that was a bad waste product. We have to get rid of that. It removes the bad drugs as well, the drugs that we don't want to have in our body that might be poisonous to us. And it helps balance salts and water levels. So these three mechanisms that are very similar to the one, the function that our, our kidney does as well, and the renal dialysis machine does too. Now some of the differences is that it uses diffusion only. So diffusion only for dialysis. So whereas our nephrons, our kidneys, also use filtration. So I'm going to go over why that happens. So if you remember, filtration was at the high speed removal of uh, urea. Um, whereas with this, it's not. It doesn't actually have any. There's no high speed. But if you look at those, uh, for that picture again, it's got lots of coils. So um, it actually has more time for diffusion to work. So what happens is you have these coils. So this is just one coil, but you can imagine it's going to coil up more and more, like it's going to go and take quite some time until it goes for that machine. And diffusion is from a high concentration to low concentration. So there's enough time for these molecules to actually diffuse out into the solution. So even though we don't use filtration, which is a lot faster, because we have so many coils, because it takes so long for blood to return to our body, um, we have enough time to get rid of all of that urea. So even though in this case, for our kidney, diffusion was not enough, but diffusion is enough when it comes to um, 
the renal dialysis because it has more time to act, right? So the problem with diffusion, it was too slow. Whereas in this case, um, even though it still is too slow, it's going to take a lot longer and we have more time to wait as well. So diffusion, so the differences is in diffusion only for dialysis, whereas nephrons use diffusion and filtration. That's one difference. Uh, also, dialysis takes longer, so it can actually, if you have to plug yourself in, uh, you might have to stay there for three, four hours for all this to be cleaned, and it's also less efficient. So, um, whilst the whilst the kidneys get rid of every single bad, more or less, all the bad stuff, there might be a bit left over in the dialysis machine. So it takes a bit longer for the dialysis to occur in the di for, for filtration and cleaning to happen in the in the dialysis machine, and it's less efficient too. And the last difference was that was no reabsorption of nutrients occurring. And I mentioned earlier that there in the in the dialysis machine itself we've got water, salts, and some nutrients. And I'm going to explain why we have some nutrients in our dialysis solution. Um, so if you look here, this is just again that same coil. Now these purple dots, these might be amino acids. So remember, we have amino acids in our blood, but we don't want to get we don't want to get rid of those amino acids. We don't want to filter them out. We don't want to uh, remove the amino acids. We want to stay make sure they stay in the blood. Um, so we need to have active transport to bring them back into the blood when it comes to kidney. But what they made sure here when they made that solution, that dialysis solution, they made sure that they had the same concentration. So here I, I wrote down the same concentration of nutrients in the blood and in the dialysis solution. So in here, so you can see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in the solution and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the blood. And what that means is you're not going to have any of the extra blood amino acids. You're not going to have them leave. Because if you remember, um, if this were to diffuse out, diffusion only goes from a high to a low concentration. In this case, we have concentration being the same on both sides. So you're going to have no movement of amino acids. So amino acids are going to stay in the blood. So that's what we want to do. So amino acids are not leaving, which means in the kidneys we had to use reabsorption to get them back because they were removed through filtration. But we didn't have that problem when it comes to renal dialysis, so we don't need to use reabsorption. Right, so I'm going to highlight the main differences in similarities again. Similarities were that it does the main jobs of the kidney. It removes urea, it removes drugs, and it helps balance salts and water. All of these are essential for the survival of any human being and any animal in general. But the main differences was that was it uses diffusion only. It had more time to make sure that um, it could remove all of the urea because it was in coils, whereas in the kidney it doesn't have much time. So diffusion only was enough for the renal dialysis machine, whereas we need to have diffusion and filtration for the kidney. Um, but yeah, one another difference is dialysis takes a lot longer, so you might be hooked up for three or four hours at a time, and it's also less efficient, so we don't remove all of the bad stuff. Um, no reabsorption of nutrients occur. So, if you had, if you looked at your um, kidneys, we had to reabsorb all those nutrients. Whereas they made sure that the concentration they were using was the same inside and outside. So the solution itself was the same as the um, blood. So that meant that you had no overall movement of your nutrients out of the actual blood itself. And remember that dialysis solution was kind of the, the this was like the um, this is like the urine itself. So the stuff that is left over, the stuff that's removed, is like our urine. So that uses up dialysis solution. And once it's gone through, once the blood has gone through, that's like our urine stuff that's in there. It's similar to what our urine would have as well. So I hope that made sense. But yeah, you need to know. Um, you need to be able to compare the two. You need to be able to compare um, renal dialysis with the actual kidney, the function of the kidney itself.